And as numbers go up across Alabama, Madison County is no exception. Our charity chambers tells us what local leaders have to say about these new numbers. We've had an increase of 285 cases in the last seven days and 430 in the last 14 days. Uh, of the 996 cases in Madison County, almost half have occurred in the last two weeks. Madison County has seen a surge of cases over the past two weeks, which has local leaders concerned about our community. The young people are not immune from this. We have the first uh, teenager in the ICU. We have a 16 year old in the ICU. Uh, at this time, they are on a ventilator. It's the youngest patient we've had in an ICU on a ventilator. In Madison County, there are 16 patients in ICU. 11 of them are on ventilators. Huntsville Hospital CEO David Spiller says in order to flatten the curve, everyone needs to wear masks. I continue to be a supporter of uh, face coverings and social distancing. I continue to believe if, if we as a state would do that, we would substantially slow down the spread of this virus. Spiller says though wearing a mask can be an inconvenience, this will remain the normal for a while. Well, everybody wants to go back to normal. We can't go back to normal without some protections in place. That's not going to work. We're not going to go back to normal until we have an effective vaccine. As July 4th weekend approaches, local leaders are asking folks to remain cautious with their actions. As we approach Independence Day, I encourage everyone to be mindful. We saw new cases of coronavirus uh, in by community transmission following Memorial Day weekend grow by great numbers. It is my hope we can prevent this from happening again. Putting the Valley first, I'm Charity Chambers for WZDX News.